All right, today I'm going to fix my electric leaf blower. It broke. It's uh, about eight years old. And uh, it was uh, when I was working with it and I was turning, it started feeling strange and uh, making strange noises. And then all of a sudden it just popped, loud metallic noise, and started spitting out these uh, balls, the little metal beads. And uh, now I'm going to fix it. First up, I'm gonna go around with a screwdriver, take all the screws out. There's a tr one tricky one that's hiding right behind here, the paper. Here's the inside, our electric motor, a little fan over there, and it goes without saying you should do this without having it plugged in, right? This was the second time I was taking it apart. I, first time I took it apart, I didn't take a video, I just took it apart the second time so everybody can see. But on this side, we have a nice bearing over here that's still intact. But on this side, we also had a bearing, and this is the leftover of it, leftover pieces. And these were the leftover uh, metal pieces that uh, when I took it apart the first time, they were here. So this is the used to be bearing that went to pieces. So this will be trash. And uh, I looked uh, it up and actually this bearing right here, you can see, it's one of the most common ones used in the marketplace for electric motors and everything. So it's fairly easy to find one. And I went on the internet, found one and I'm gonna put it back on this shaft and hopefully it'll work just fine. But first we need to remove this part of the shaft that is still attached. trying to keep as much flat surface against the bearing as possible. Alright, we we'll put it back in place. It needs to be right there next to this guy. And when I'm hammering it, you kind of need to make sure you're not hammering on this outside ring, you need to hammer on the inside ring because that's where the resistance comes from the shaft. So, whatever you put next to it, make sure you, when you hammer it, the force transfers to the inner ring, not the outer ring. And there you go, nice and flush, not crooked. So, now let's put it back together and see if it works. Another thing that uh, you can do, since we have it all taken apart, in this area, 
is where the brushes touch to the this coil so very with the sandpaper very softly take off this dark burn layer okay we don't have to obsess and go crazy about it just uh, softly gently make sure it becomes nice and shiny and that's about it okay now let's go ahead and put it back together when you insert this you will see that the, those are the brushes that are hitting against the bearing so make sure you don't force them and kind of move them out of the way with a screwdriver or whatever you can insert there on both sides push them out of the way and then insert this guy in this place Sure, it goes in its nice housing up on top there you go all the way up here now at the bottom goes back in here oh and this thing goes to back here but I just realized the other outer ring of the bearing is in this one too so we need to take this out in order for the new bearing to fit inside yeah, just nicely evenly go one side to the other side I always like try opposite hammer it as I'm not using a hammer I'm trying to use something that gives a little bit softer blow because I might be overzealous and then bend stuff so try to do it in a way that you don't bend especially the pieces that you need this one who cares I don't know maybe a ring or something <laughs> okay back to the business of assembling and now this thing should go nicely in its place Okay, for these guys, a screwdriver works, but if you have one of these, an Allen wrench, then definitely this one does the trick much better. Okay, let's put it back in the box. Here's an idea, if you're doing this for the first time, maybe take a picture of how all this stuff is inside here. So when it's time to put it back, it's uh, a bit easier to remember.